Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to talk about my first ever QOM attempt. Uh, this one was uh, one of those memorable moments because, you know, first time uh, snagging a crown is always fun. Um, and so this particular segment is not too far from our house. It's about two or three miles down the road from us. We've ridden it a couple of times before um, until I noticed that there was a segment up on this little climb. And I noticed that the current QOM time was four minutes and 15 seconds. And I knew at the time that I had, I could potentially snag it, but I wasn't really certain. Um, I always have these doubts in my mind. And this was the first time that we've ridden it together. It was about two months ago, and I really wasn't confident in myself. Now that we're in the peak phase, uh, FTP is up, and so I'm training in higher intensity with in higher zones. So um, I had a feeling that I was able to uh, to snag this one but going into this climb I was actually pretty nervous my heart was racing and I don't know I can't exactly give you a reason as to why I felt that way I just um, you know it was like it's always it I always feel this way especially before an FTP test I don't know I just get nervous it's like a test and this one is a test of your fitness and I wasn't sure how well I was gonna how well it was gonna go down so um, let me just fast forward over to the actual climb itself. So the start of the segment doesn't actually start until further up, but I knew it was coming close. And the tricky part about certain segments is that when there's a stop sign, you kind of have to slow down to make sure you're clear and you can go. Um, this one today, I actually, uh, on, on this ride, I was actually pretty lucky because the roads were fairly quiet. And so I really didn't have to slow down at that stop sign. So I kind of just, um, I burned through that one. Um, and it was at this point that, you know, I didn't get the segment up yet on the Wahoo computer. And I asked, was asking Jason's like, is yours up? Is yours up? And he said, no, mine came up. And so I thought maybe, cause it's this, this has happened before. I thought maybe it just wasn't going to come up. And so, uh, thankfully I think at around this part here was when it finally came up and it showed that I was like two seconds ahead of my uh, former uh, record. And so I just kept grinding away at it. And what really was helpful to me was having that estimated time uh, to the finish setting on the Wahoo computer. Um, this is when the Strava Live segment comes up and you can actually customize it uh, for to be able to see that setting. And so being able to see that um, allowed me to kind of pace myself a little better on this climb. Now, I barely looked at my power and uh, I wasn't even really looking down to see what my power was because I really didn't know how to pace myself power wise on this climb. I just wanted to see how far I was from, uh, you know, from the, the actual record. Uh, so the steepest part of this segment was probably 6%. So you can see now that it semi flattens out. It's not actually flat. Um, around this point here, it, it starts to get semi steep around six or 7%. And then it comes back down again. Um, always, tricky part for if you're riding segments is that the roads can be narrow and you have these big trucks come and flying by at you. And these are like landscaping trucks. Um, and also the road was not or is not as well paved. And so there are bumps and there are potholes and stuff that I had to avoid. And I heard that truck uh, whizzing by me. And so I kind of moved to my right as if I was turning into the street to make room for it. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of like what the, the course is like, uh, or the road is like. And so it was just kind of some obstacle courses around, uh, 
some obstacles around that I had to avoid. Um, but yeah, for the most part, um, it was pretty quiet after all those cars have passed me. So this is right here um, is the kind of flattish part of the road. And I can see at the end of this road, there's a stop sign and the, con the segment continues beyond the stop sign because there is a little hill that you kind of have to go up. So as soon as I saw, I think it used to be a pizza place, but I'm not sure if it's a pizza place or just an Italian restaurant, but you see that red building up ahead. As soon as I saw that, I knew that I had, I was getting close, but I was really happy. I'm really happy with my power throughout this ride. I, I was, um, you know, just even my speed looking at that in the double digits, I was never able to do that, to hit that kind of speed in the past on an incline. Um, and it kind of shows you that I've really, you know, worked on my fitness. So here's the turn. And then you see a little bit of that um, incline there. Um, I sh may, I could have stayed at my, on my big ring. I was actually on my 52 ring uh on the front here and then i switched over you can see me pedaling the cadence started changing because of this little bit of a grade um, and then i powered through it by getting off the saddle um, and this is kind of like what i've practiced uh, in my indoor rides in zwift is 20 seconds at the end of my interval i would get off the saddle as if i was sprinting so um, it kind of was neat to, to see that that kind of practice kind of paid off in the end. Uh, but yeah, so that was a QOM. And uh, I think I finished at 3 minutes and 51 seconds. Oh, got the crown. Ah, 3.51. So what were your thoughts about the ride today in general? In general, the day was beautiful. Uh, it was a gorgeous day. It was perfect temperature. Uh, the sun was out and uh, the roads were a little wet uh, from the rain this morning, but otherwise it was a great ride. And uh, the route that we took, it's a new route. We scouted out uh, to, we're gonna try to ride more often from home uh, and this one is from home to to a little bit into Newtown. And so, yeah, it was a nice short two hour ride, about 30 miles. So, yeah, so I thought that it was a, for a fairly short ride, it was a very productive day because like you just said, we scouted out a, um, a new direction to go in for, for our routes. And um, most importantly, why it was productive is because Joy got a QOM on the segment that she was going for today. So what are your thoughts about the QOM? Yeah, so first QOM ever. Um, my thoughts were, um, well, I, <laughs> I don't really know. I wasn't really thinking much when I was riding through it. It's just been crazy because the first time I rode that segment, the very first time I rode that segment by myself was I barely made it halfway. And I said to Jason that I actually threw up in someone's yard. Um, that's how much, how out of shape I was. And well, I didn't have the proper equipment or the, the right bike for it and, um, and the right gears for it. So that was really hard. And uh, yeah, so, um, this time around, it was um, it was a lot of fun. I had the uh, on the bike computer for the Wahoo. I had the um, estimated time uh, to finish the segment, and that's really helpful because uh, I, I know the time to beat. And I just saw, I kept looking down the screen to see if I was uh, within that range, and it looked like I was. Uh, below that range so I just that was a good motivation to to keep going I'm really proud of you honey for how far you've come and, and that's that just shows right there how far you've come in, in your fitness in the last couple of years yeah but, no I, I've been yeah I I'm pretty happy with it 
so what was your strategy on on that QOM attempt? Uh, strategy wise, I didn't really think much of it. I know Jason said that um, as long as I can hit just slightly above my threshold uh, throughout the ride, then I could definitely snag that QOM. Um, but in the back of my mind, I wanted to big ring it, and I pretty much so the gearing on my bike is 5236. Um, so I stayed on the 52 pretty much the entire time. Um, it was hard too though because there were cars trying to get through and there's these big trucks like landscaping trucks that were trying to get through. So I was trying to make room for them. But otherwise, um, the only strategy was to stay on the big ring and to see how long I could stay on the big ring. Um, and I pretty much stayed in that gear entire way up until we hit like this little bump. Uh, this little steep uh, incline and then I switched over to my smaller and by that time the segment had ended. I know you weren't looking at your power necessarily during the um, during the attempt but uh, just for the record I believe Joy's power was uh, 231 watts yeah. average right? Two, I averaged 231 watts for three minutes and 51 seconds. Yeah that's awesome. Yeah, um, that's pretty much the, um, I don't know if it's the highest that I've ever clocked in, but I, it was, um, it was up there and, you know, for somebody who's struggled in the past to do that climb, I'm pretty pleased with it, be satisfied with it. Well, again, congratulations and I'm really proud of you. Um, any final thoughts that you have on on the ride or on the QOM? Well, um, just going back to the QOM, uh, if you are someone who is who has been riding and who's been kind of intimidated by by it, I would say just go for it because no one sees it. You know, Strava just puts out your time and that's it and so if you need to stop you can just get off and you can stop and take a break but just go for it just test yourself um, if you're looking to test your fitness in different ways go for it and watch Lionel Sanders <laughs> to get uh, good motivation and Phil Guyman <laughs> those, are, those are great tips yeah yeah thanks for that uh, for that advice bit of advice for, for all the folks out there and um, I would agree with that and thanks for doing this little interview with me honey. Thanks. I'm glad that you guys can can hear the wonderful background sounds of the neighborhood. Sorry. Yeah we've uh we've they're been... power washing back there and so you can that's all you hear and thanks for watching everyone. Um, if you haven't if you made it this far if you haven't done so already, um, we would really appreciate it if you subscribe. It really helps the, the channel to grow. Take care. See you again in the next video.